First new tonight, hundreds gathering in Providence. First for Pride Fest this afternoon and a parade tonight. This year, the events all under the close watch of police officers after shots were fired into a crowd last weekend at PBD Fest. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us live in the capital city tonight with how city leaders are making sure everyone stays safe. Eric. Kate, Pride events have gone on as planned this weekend, both Pride Fest earlier today and Pride Parade tonight. Hundreds of people marched through downtown as part of the Pride Parade as hundreds more watched from the sidewalks. Love coming to these parades. Um, it's just, it's so inviting, it's so accepting, um, and it's just a lot of fun. Jeremy Newt is part of Riders Motorcycle Club with Tom Gregg. They came down from Massachusetts for the Pride Parade. People just get to go out to, to all this stuff and just celebrate who they are with, without any inhibitions. A week ago to the night at PVD Fest, police say someone fired several gunshots into the air. Providence Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry was among the city's safety leaders at Saturday's parade. Earlier in the week, he said after what happened at PVD Fest, there would be an increased police presence at Pride. Come, you'll be safe, you'll be festive, and we'll do everything we can to make sure everyone's safe and celebrate. And at the parade and Saturday afternoon at Pride Fest, it seemed like that's exactly what people were doing. Bit it, I thought about it. Like um, last night, I was like, nah, maybe we better not go. But then I decided, you know what? Uh, we're we're gonna go. We're gonna have a good time. And there are also some pride events happening in this city tomorrow. Live in Providence, I'm Eric Halperin, Eyewitness News.